I've got a cat here. I got Taco here, and I got June hanging out over here. <laughs> and I'm off to a rough start because uh, it just doesn't taste right. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you three options of mounting your ZWO EAF to your Celestron C6 SCT. Two of those options involve modifying the C8 bracket, also made by ZWO. There just isn't a C6 solution uh, for the, Z, the ZAF, the EAF uh, for the C6. <laughs> the purpose of this video is to give you ideas on how you would be mounting the EAF to your Celestron C6. So with that, let's get into it. All right, this picture was off of Celestron's website. And the first thing we want to do to the C6 is remove the rubber cap over the focusing knob. So it for me, it actually came off really, really easily. All I had to do was grab it from the top and it popped right off. Next thing we need to do is remove the screws off the focuser housing, and which are located here. There's three of them. And for me, I had to actually leave the, I guess you want to call it a washer. I'm not sure what else to call it, but uh, for me to install the C8 bracket to this and have it seat properly, I had to actually leave that black washer on the C6 in order to make it fit right. And last but not least, you're going to also want to remove the visual back assembly off of the C6 and then screw on the reducer if you have one. Now for the next part, the best way for me to explain it is to take a look at the EAF bracket on the C8. So you'll see it fully assembled there and then you're going to want to cut off the two ribs off of the middle part of the bracket until it looks like this. I used a miter saw to do that. Uh, I think you can do it with a Dremel as well. It's pretty soft aluminum. However you do it, just make sure you remove the two top ribs from this part of the bracket. The next thing I had to do was widen the hole in the coupler because apparently the C8 focusing knob is slightly smaller. The focusing knob on the C6 is approximately half a millimeter wider than the C8. So what I did was I used a drill press to widen it out slightly. Uh, you can use a standard drill, but this is just the way that I did it for myself. The rest is really self-explanatory. You're just gonna wanna bolt this part of the bracket onto the black washer that should be still on the focuser assembly. Fully assembled, it should look like this. And if you notice, the bracket will fit the C6 perfectly with those two ribs removed. Install the EAF motor and then tighten down all the grub screws and screws that hold it in place and you're done. Now, if you're not going to be using this in the standard SCT configuration, you're just gonna be using it for Hyperstar, you'll be fine uh, doing it this way. Now I know I'd be using it in the standard SET configuration at F6 and with all the accessories on it including the spacer, the clearance on the EAF and the any accessories that you put on it are very very tight and with limited rotation. I wanted to get as much rotation as possible because I wanted to use a filter wheel with my C6. So what I ended up doing was designing a coupler five millimeters shorter than the original ZWO coupler. Now with my new coupler installed and also the Celestron T adapter with a ZWO 16.5 millimeter spacer and also the 11 millimeter spacer plus the filter wheel, I was able to get nearly full rotation on my EAF with everything installed on it. Those of you with 3D printers, feel free to experiment with the length. I chose 30 millimeters because that's all I needed to get my filter wheel to fit. I plan to use my guide scope, so I'm not sure if there is a possibility of fitting an OAG there, 
uh, with the uh, ZAF motor, but you know, those of you that are into designing and 3D printing, have at it. Also, there is an option for people who don't 3D print, and this goes along with option two, is you could source your own coupler. I've, I've seen some couplers online that uh, might fit, so maybe a quick Google search might help you in doing that. The third option that you have is going to and I'm sure everyone has, has heard of this guy. He, he has a website, it's called Buckeye Stargazer. Simple Google search will uh, reveal his website, but he does make a 3D printed C6 kit. Thing is, I have no idea what the durability is on that. So uh, if that is an option for you, it might be worth a try. Uh, and also keep in mind, you're going to be modifying a few things. You're gonna be modifying a kit, you're gonna be modifying the C6, so if you're not comfortable with doing any of this stuff and you still want to do this, uh, make sure you get some help or just don't do it at all. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully this helped you out in some way. I have a few more product videos coming out. And uh, I guess that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.